Wir befinden uns hier auf dem Niederrhein im Grenzbereich zwischen Deutschland und den Niederlanden. Die Bundesanstalt für Wasserbau führt hier Sedimentmessungen mit ihren deutschen und niederländischen Partnern durch. Die Sedimentmessungen sind dafür gedacht, die Vergleichbarkeit zwischen den deutschen Methoden und den niederländischen Methoden zu untersuchen. Three ships of the Federal Waterways and Shipping Administration and two ships of Reichswartestart are being used to collect samples of suspended and bed load and to measure discharge and bathymetry. We measure suspended sediment. These are sediments that are transported in water column in suspension. These measurements are important because suspended sediment are part of the total sediment that is transported in the downstream. They provide information on water quality and also information on erosion that occurs in the upper section of the river basin. Spatial variability of flow causes variation of sediment concentration along the river width and the vertical water profile. Therefore, accurate estimates of suspended sediment transport require sampling at various depths and different locations across the river. We use a measuring frame to which Van Dorn bottles are attached at half a predetermined interval to draw water samples. The measuring frame is lowered into the water with weights attached to its bottom to allow the device to submerge vertically. Once the bottles are filled up, a 1 liter sample is collected, which is analyzed further in the laboratory. In another approach, the sampling device is equipped with a weight which allows us to collect samples at predefined depths, a propeller for velocity measurements and a pipe through which we extract water using an attached pump. Once lowered to the predefined depth, the pipe is flushed before collecting a 5 liter sample containing suspended fines, while suspended sand is separated using a sieve. This sample is then filtered and stored on board of the vessel. A further 50 liters are extracted through the same sieve to retain the sand-sized particles. This sample is then also stored on board the vessel and processed further in the laboratory, together with the sample of suspended fines. We sample bed load, which is the sediment transported along the river bottom. Bed load sampling is frequently conducted at several sites along the Rhine and at various water levels. In doing so, we can locate and quantify bed load transport and determine its grain size distribution under different flow conditions. This is indicative of the evolution of riverbed morphology and serves to streamline river maintenance and development projects. Bed load is sampled at various locations across the river width due to the spatial variability of transport characteristics. The BFG sediment trap is lowered to the riverbed and the entire process is monitored with the help of an attached camera to ensure the trap is well positioned. The sampler is set at the riverbed and allowed time for bed load to flow into the sampler. After a given time period, the sampler is lifted above the water and samples are retrieved for further storage. Direct bed load measurements are essential to estimate annual bed sediment fluxes. These fluxes give insight in the system and determine whether it was too much or too little sediment. The data can also be used to improve numerical models and we have to repeat them at several discharges in order to get to good estimates. This is the Delft Nile Sampler, the piece of equipment that is used by the Dutch parties. This equipment is lowered onto the riverbed and then it starts sampling. Sediment is coming in through here and is collected in this bag and it has to be on the riverbed for a certain amount of time put forward the protocols. We use echo sounders to record the riverbed bathymetry and to determine spatial and temporal evolution of bed forms. This information is used in quantification of bed form migration rates and subsequently bed load transport rates. The echo sounding techniques complement direct sampling in large rivers. Since the measurements provide information for an area instead of discrete sampling locations and illustrate the structure of the riverbed. 
The arriving bad load transport rates with this technique is limited to areas where bad forms exist. In these areas, the so-called dune tracking method can be used to quantify bad load transport by analyzing the geometry and the migration rate of the bad forms. Echo sounders mounted on a vessel record the geometry of bad forms over a certain period of time. The dune tracking method then compares repeated bathymetric profiles to determine dune geometries and dune migration rates to assess the bad load transport rate. Additionally to the execution of standard sampling methods by the individual partners, another focus during the campaign was on the general exchange of experience between Dutch and German colleagues. This knowledge and the newly established connections will benefit the future collaboration. LILA aims to facilitate the Dutch-German cooperation in Danubius RI. Danubius RI aims to become the global leading top research infrastructure focusing on understanding of river sea systems. River sea systems are studied in Danubius RI on super sites, or we call them living labs. Actually, we are standing here right now at the spot where two super sites meet, the Dutch and the German super site. The German Middle Rhine super site and the Dutch Rhine Meuse Delta super site form a continuing system. Improving our understanding of this system requires transboundary approaches. The LILA project exemplifies such an approach for the study of sediment dynamics. This joint effort towards transnational comparability of sediment data and improved system understanding will support measures to keep the Rhine navigable, safe, livable and biodiverse now and in the future.